Despite the news of the closure, it was business as usual at the Front Row Theater, which hosted a children's show today. Still, even the kids knew something was up. Did you guys hear it was closing? Yes. Adults easily remembered their show? first night yeah. at the Front Row. Uh, I think it was Kenny Rogers. Uh -huh. And um, it was a real, real good show. And uh, every seat in here was a nice seat, so it was really nice. Miss it. There have been so many memories. I mean, we've had... Uh, Roy Orbison's very last performance was here at the Front Row Theater. And I think you remember the people who are no longer with us, like Sammy Davis Jr., who opened up the theater. Jeannie Enzer's been here since day one back in 1974. Since then, a non-stop list of famous people has rolled through the theater. Frankly, many of the old-timers say some of the most memorable moments here at the front row had nothing to do with what went on on stage, but rather what went on back here backstage in the wardrobe rooms. And of course, Liberace, can't forget Liberace. When he came, the whole theater, everyone who worked here, it was like magic the whole week. The costumes and his, his, one of his capes, in fact, broke our dressing room bar because it weighed something like 140 pounds, sable with all rhinestone lined. Sammy, I can remember about him, his many clothes, his wardrobe was enormous. And you'd open the wardrobe doors and you'd see all these tiny little jackets. And Mary Lucas worked here for 19 family. years, they building her life around this place. Our son, our oldest boy Sal, got married here, and uh, our other boy had a graduation party here. She says the lighter moments came while helping out rocker Alice Cooper and his slithery sidekicks. You know, taking care of backstage, you just didn't want to have anything to do with the snake, you know, <laughs> things like that. Right. So when the lights dim and the sounds die for good, Mary says it will not be easy. It's going to be missed. We will miss, miss everyone here. In Highland Heights, I'm Liz Clayman, News Channel 5.